Hello everybody, welcome to UCM Marcus Venture and this is Sunday to like, comment, subscribe. I don't know whether I should laugh, I should be sad or I should be crying about the things that I'm hearing of late from our fans. Seems as if we are quick to forget. We are quick to forget, I don't know what's the reason why we are like this. It's like we are wearing, we are weighing comparing the type of heads that we have received and we're like no we prefer that kind of heads or we prefer that person because that one did not go to the extent as that one okay this one because you only cheated on me like with one and then this one is cheating on me with two ladies or two females or, or two male uh two men rather it's like we are comparing the type of head like at the moment, because there are fans who are out there saying that Zwane was better, and in fact, we want him back. And there are those who say that, nah, I'm not going to forget how Zwane had me. I'm not going to forget the things that he said, the promises that he made and did not fulfill. I mean, I didn't anticipate that Zwane would be the one who had me this way because he knows me. We grew up together. Uh, this guy knows my parents. This guy, actually, he grew up at home. But now, all of a sudden, he's the one who's hurting me. Oh, he hurt me. Should I give him a chance? Because, I mean, this guy, I know, I knew him or I know him for that long. It looks like that as friends. It looks like we are comparing the type of heads and who hurts us the most between CJ and Zwane at the moment. Because both of them, I'll tell you this, that both of them... They have failed us, but some of you are like, no, you miss Zwane. And my question is, what is it that you miss about Zwane? Should I remind you the things that Zwane uh, said and the things that he, he did? Like the promises he made that he did not fulfill. I mean, I had high hopes for Zwane. Not because he's a... Um, not because he, he has coached any, elsewhere, but because he was a nature and he knew better. He knew the ins or he knows even today the ins and the outs of the club but he then still failed some would say but he only had one season i'm like hey how many coaches in our season in our in our team that you only gave them one season and some they did not finish bad as one should i remind you the records that he broke the bad records that Johnny broke and i'm gonna do that whether you like it or not i'm gonna remind you and you're like but you haven't i healed from Zwane. Yes, I haven't heard from Zwane because he's the one of the is one of the people that who started this. Why did he start this? And for me to say that I would never take Zwane again, I would say to you, current at the moment at this juncture, that I would prefer Shepard to finish off the season than Zwane, because there are rumors circulating that it uh, looks like CJ is gonna be dethroned and Zwane is gonna take over to finish the season. And my question before you even say that Keza Chiefs or management should proceed with this. My question to you is, what are you going to say if Zwane takes over and he wins the seven games? What are you going to say? When management, they offer him a contract, a permanent contract again, what are you going to say? Have you forgotten how dismally he failed? And he's rehearsed post-match interviews each and every time that he failed. Like there was no sincerity, no genuinity in it. It's like he always had one same line to say because he rehearsed it. It's like he always knew that I'm going to fail, therefore this is what I'm going to say. His post-match interviews were so boring and they were so predictable. His style of football was outdated for a coach who coach Keza Chiefs and who coach even in the MDC. His reading of the game was so outdated. We did not see how even a structure for me. I did not even see a structure under Zwane. And for you to say that Zwane must come back based on what? I'm disappointed in the fact that you are quick to forget and you want Zwane back. And my question, if you want him back, do you want him on interim basis? 
you want him on permanent basis and if it does win and there seems to be a structure happening for the next games seven games that is going to play are you going to say no this is the guy that we want we made a mistake because some of you are saying that we made a mistake by drawing missiles at him by saying that he's not a coach for us were you not justified i'm not saying throwing objects was justified but i but i mean you wanting him out of the club i for one i'm one of those that are would say, and I'm still saying that said even before, Zwane is weak, is poor tactically, and I saw nothing under him. Like, I saw nothing positive. Like, he ruined and broken records that were not supposed to be broken. Like, bad records. Like, he affected the club negatively so. Like, now when I use him as a yardstick to say that CJ must at least get 44 points in the zone and got. Like, is that a good tally of points to even compare or even want or desire to get? The number of losses that you got under Zwan, number of goals that you scored under Zwan, the negative goal difference that you got under Zwan. Should I remind you of all those things? And I said, I'm going to remind you. To remind you, I'm going to read an article and then you tell me if you still want Zwan. Like, no, but Zwan, he didn't have the kind of players that CJ has. He or Zwan, he could do better with the players that he has now. Like, really? Under Zwan, were we, were we forced not to sign players or were we sanctioned not to sign players like we did underhand? No. No. But do you all of a sudden you say that Zwane must come back? Some are saying no, we miss Hunt. Some are saying that, hey, we want Baxter, we want Midendorp. And at Midendorp, there was a structure and whatnot. Let's talk about Zwane who's linked to come back with our two Keza chips for the seven games. I, for one, I mean, it's my opinion and I respect yours. You can voice yours. I, for one, I say that Zwane is not the coach to, to take care of even on interim basis. He must just go out there and he must fix his CV, polish his CV and go and apply for jobs. If he still wants to be a coach for us, he's the reason why we don't have Nabi today. Let me just remind you. He's the reason why we are where we are today because Keza Chiefs, they... The management, they wanted to put him under gloves and protect him and did not want anything to do. Like, they didn't want anyone to touch him, like their favorite child. We are where we are, partially so because of Zwan, the points that he got, and Keza Chiefs making a mistake to put him such an extent that they did not want Nabi because they were protecting the club's legacy. Let me just read you the stats and then we're going to finish it like, like this. Let me, let me remind you of what Zwane uh, did in case you have forgotten. I'm reading you what happened in that season before he was fired. In 27 years in the Premiership, in 27 years in the Premiership, Kaiser Chiefs never lost more than 10 league matches in a season. In 27 years. Someone who's 21 today is married, have kids. Like their career is like promising, if not already there. It says, but in 2022-2023 season campaign that ended on Saturday. So it's an old article. Other Zwane's charges didn't just break the, that record by one match when they lost to Supersport. 1 nil in the panel teammate round, but excellent is to 12. Excellent to 12 when they met with a Cape Town City who beat them by the same margin 1 nil at FNP. With this terrible record still fresh in everyone's mind, Joanne was asked <laughs> if he was confident that he would keep his job at Naturena. They way the coach attempted to answer this question was similar to the manner in which 
His team huffled and puffled all season. Zwane noted his side showed some signs that they wanted to compete. He correctly admitted they never did. He pointed the number of injuries. I'm not going to read this excuse. This article says, The excuses are untimely as they accompanied Amakosi completing an unprecedented eight seasons without a trophy. But having enjoyed a long debut season as a head coach, perhaps Zwane could have given, could have been, could have be, could be forgiven because the campaign might have left him dazed and confused concerning how hard, how he hardly had a good enough team to help change the fortunes. Look, I'm one person, he says, who's a believer and hard worker, he said. If there's one thing about football or one thing football taught me, it is never, it is never to be in the game. It is never to be in the game if you don't have a big heart. In football, you have to develop thick skin. I'm not the first coach that has been in this under fire situation. I've seen coaches struggling in their first season. They've come up with diff uh, they come up different in the second season, in the following season. But as I said, it was more like a learning season for me for the fact that for the fact of me being the head coach making a decision, obviously with the help of other technical team members. But I have previously been supporting a supporting member of the team, supporting other coaches who have been here before. But this time around, I had to do it. I had to do things the way I thought would help, Zwane said. As much as it was the learning season, it was a very productive one in terms of learning what I should have done in the certain things. Should have done it in another way, in brackets, certain things. Among factors, Zwane pointed reason for the poor season were injuries. I'm not going to go there. Because these are excuses. Like, he broke a record for 27 years. I've been saying to you, he got 44 points. He lost. He got, he only collected 22 points in the first round. Second round of the league, he collected 22 points again. Losing 12 games. Losing 12 games. You know, his goal difference was negative one. The current goal difference is plus one. Some say that's a positive. I'm like, stay the same. They scored 32 goals last season, meaning what? In 30 games, they scored almost every game. And they considered 33 goals, meaning what? There was a game and all other games, they will, they've been considering a goal. That's how poor... Kesa Chisu was under Zwan, and you still want Zwan to come back. Guys, yeah, you are quick to forget. I'm not gonna support Zwan coming back, even as an interim coach. Might as well finish this season, give away these three points, and we'll finish where we are, but not being coached by, by Zwan. I would never support that. I am out. Give me your thoughts. Let's engage. I'm out, guys. Take care. Bye. Love you. AFC Marcos Fenchana Sanele.